Well, hello there! It's that time again! Yes, it is indeed. It is time for the blog that truly blazes here on this mellow Sunday afternoon, December the 4th of 2016. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and what lies ahead of us towards the end of this upcoming week. Not a bad ride. Do stay tuned. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, this card for us was a Six of Swords, entitled Science. It's attributed to Mercury in Aquarius. Now, this is a nice card, a lot of mental energy. Mercury rules our mentality, our noggin. And Aquarius is fixed air, which again relates to the mind. And the six is a very balanced number relating to solar influences in the Kabbalah. So this is basically a balanced frame of mind. It's a very focused frame of mind. Going towards our goals, putting our efforts into areas that are positive and beneficial for us. So you may have felt yourself to be very productive the last several days, especially in terms of planning, especially in terms of focus and being able to determine exactly what it is that you want to do or need to do in your life at this time. And as we determine those things, we then in turn have to deal with obstacles that may be in the way, as we'll see in the next card. That's right, the card for the present, what we're coming into now, is the Aeon, or as it's called in the Rider Way to Row, Judgment. Now, the idea of this card is burning away things that we do not need, making final judgments regarding the past. So when I said about dealing with obstacles, that doesn't mean obstacles spring up in our face. What it means is we realize obstacles that are already there that are blocking us from making progress towards our goals. Now these could be mental in nature, they could be physical, they could be people. Anything that's standing in the way, situations that aren't working, things that just don't support our efforts towards what we're trying to achieve, we need to make some hard decisions about how to deal with that. Could be financial. Okay, as we go into the holidays, finances, you have to set your priorities, which we also do see in the next card. That's right, the third and final card, the card for the end of the week, is a two of discs or pentacles, entitled Change. It's depicted in the Rider Way Tarot as a person standing on a beach. There's waves of water behind them, you know, big surf, and they're juggling. <laughs> they're doing some juggling. Now, the card makes sense with this astrological attribution of Jupiter and Capricorn. Jupiter wants to be generous. It wants to have a happy holiday, to be Santa Claus, to give things away, okay, or to gain, whichever the case may be. Capricorn says, well, no, 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 not so quickly here. We have to be careful. We have to save our money. We have to conserve. We have to make sure we have resources for the future. It's kind of the dance we go through with all the holidays, I think. But it's coming up right now. And so it doesn't mean we can't have fun. It just means you may find that you're saying, okay, I've determined what I want. I'm getting the obstacles out of the way. Now I got to really marshal and juggle my resources to make sure that things can happen for me the way that I want them to. There's nothing else in the way. There's no big astrological influences, nothing really pressing right at this time. We have a Mercury retrograde coming up later this month but that's not close to us now. We'll talk about that in the near future. But right now, know that the road is clear. It's just a matter of determining what we want, how to best get there, and knocking the obstacles out of the way so we can achieve our goals. Well, there you go. The blog blazed, and you hung in there with it. Thanks a lot for watching the blog. Really appreciate you and your support. Until I see you next week, many blessings, and I can now say, Happy Holidays.